I have a confession to make. This is actually a reality show. Oh yeah. Called Riding with Willie. Uh, I've enjoyed the conversation. Uh, will I be allowed to use your yeah story in my show? Yeah, absolutely. That's fantastic. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. So I pick it up, David. Hello, David. <clears throat> hey, William, how you doing? David, how are you today? Thank you. Go back to the Spring Hill. Yes, sir. Oh, thank you. How's your day going? Good. How about you, David? Pretty good. Enjoying your trip to Nashville. So far, yeah, I'm heading out this afternoon back to uh, back to the airport. But I hear an accent. Where are you from, sir? Originally England. I'm back up to Connecticut, though. Is where I live. But I'm from okay. Norwich, England. Wonderful. Where about you from? Atlanta. Okay. Originally, I'm a Georgia guy. So tell me, what do you do, David? I'm in. Uh, I do IT. So I'm an IT okay. consultant. So we've been down here. Cigna's a client of ours. So we have the Metro Center and a couple of places there. So short trip though. I was supposed to stay until tomorrow, but we had a, a dinner canceled tonight, and I was I'm good. I'd probably, I'll get home. <laughs> was that going to be a productive dinner? Uh, might have been. Yeah, it might have been. You know, it's always good if you get a couple of hours with with folks and stuff. But once they canceled it, I was. I, I got to see Broadway last night. I wasn't trying to stick around an extra day. That's quite the uh, quite the show. Yeah, it's it's busy down there. Great place to people watch. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I was on my own, so I'd, I'd rather be there with like couple friends and hang out so he's kind of walking around but it was it's uh yeah, you get a lot of tourists down here a lot of people come and see that absolutely you've been to Times square yeah i call that area the, the uh, redneck Times square yeah <laughs> Times square is a zoo it's crazy I mean, like, uh, packed, especially around christmas bourbon night. street down in nolens yeah you got bill street in memphis mm -hmm. what's uh, how long you been in uh nashville this time, three years. Yeah. Three years, April 1st. Lived here in the 90s for for about three years as well. Yeah. Well, yeah. You prefer it to Atlanta? Uh, I love both cities. You know, there's a lot of charm. There's a lot of great in both of them. Yeah. So, yeah. What about you? How do you like uh, the States I've been, I've versus been, England? I've been here 20 years, so it's been such a long time that I kind of... You're acclimated. Home. Yeah, it's home to me, but... I like, I like kind of the quaintness of England, the small, you know, you get a lot of like villages and towns and stuff. And it's, uh, I think you got a bit more of a community feel back home because it's a smaller place, but you got so much out here in America. You got so many options, such good, you know, such good industry, such good, you know. Opportunity. So yeah, yeah, it's just so big. I mean, it's crazy, you can be on a plane, it takes you six hours to get across the country, but you can be in Europe in six hours the other way. <laughs> and that's a different world. I had not looked at it that way, but you're right. Yeah. It's sort of a central. Yeah. I mean, I, it takes me just as long to fly home, get to London, as it does if I was to go to LA from uh, from New York. Or Boston. How often do you get to go home? I haven't been in probably two or th probably three years, but we, I used to try and go every couple of years. So I, got, I got kids, so it's a bigger trip now with everybody. All four of us on a plane is expensive and trying to negotiate where we stay and all that kind of stuff. But every couple of years. You travel much? Uh, locally, domestically, yeah, I love to travel. I haven't been abroad yet. Uh, want to? Yeah, would love to. So, IT is a broad term. So we do consulting for our clients. So you know, take on like project management, project work. Okay. So anything that kind of we'll do anything with an app dev infrastructure. Um, we'll take on you know, platform services, things like that. So if they're looking for to build out a team or resources and they want kind of expertise and project management with that, then we'll help them, you know, kind of build that team out. And then we can manage the team or sometimes we'll just treat it as staff augmentation, but kind of just more project management in that sense. So how do you, uh, going back to the, uh, the life in America part, you've been here 20 years, uh, of course, 
your version of football, what we call soccer, you know, is is growing. It it is. That's how. I mean, I came over on a scholarship for soccer. It's the yeah. Central Connecticut, so that's why I came over originally. Who's your uh, Who's your team? Uh, Manchester United. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, they're like the Cowboys. No one from no one from Manchester supports Manchester United. So okay. I'm from a different state, so that means you support them. It's like no one from Dallas supports the Cowboys. Okay, so you like American football as well? I love American football. That's, okay. that, I've been acclimated to that big since I came over. And the Cowboys are your team? No, nah, Colts. Colts? Interesting. I know, random, right? Yeah, what made you uh, choose the Indianapolis yeah, so, Colts? So, you know, when I was over, it was like 2004, and it was all the Pats were, you know, huge or Brady. And you were either a Pats fan or a Giants fan in Connecticut. And I didn't want to be either. And that was when the Colts had a good rivalry with the Pats. And you, had, you think you had like Peyton Manning in his prime. You had Marvin Harrison, Reggie Wayne, Dallas Clark. You had a good... They were just fun to watch. And um, at that time, I was kind of... I watched a bit of the Colts. I watched the Saints with Drew Brees. And I just liked the way the Colts played. So kind of stuck on that because I get to root against the Patriots and all the guys that were supporting them and my team. So... That's kind of how I landed. Heroes and villains, right? Huh? Heroes and villains, exactly. right? Yeah, they exactly. were the, they were the, you know, pulling for the underdogs. It's being in New England, though, like it's when the Patriots are doing well. Brady was great. Brady was fun to watch. Without a doubt. And it was fun to have some of those, like, Pats Giants with Super Bowls as well, being where we are, so. But are you a Falcons fan? First and foremost. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. like the Cousins pickup? I grew up with it. Uh, I see him as a journey, but now at best, I, yeah. I don't. I don't really. I, you know, I don't know at thirty-five if he's got a great year or two left in it or not. Uh, I like Cousins. I think he makes. You I like him as. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. We're, we're talking about the person versus the football player. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the person's great. Like like him a lot. You know, he's a great great guy. I remember seeing an interview about him when he came into the league about driving the same old beater car. Yeah, he had not bought a new vehicle. Well, the car still runs. You know, he was kind of humble, and I don't think it was an all shucks fake. I think it was sincere. I think he was just a regular, yeah, regular guy. So, personality wise, I like him. Yet to see what the Falcons could do with him. I, you know, I wish him everything. I wish anybody that came to Atlanta success. Yeah, I mean, I like him as a, I like him as a footballer too. I think he, I think he's been, I think he's been really good everywhere he's been. He's just kind of fell short. But I, I look at the. Look at some of the coaching he had in Minneapolis. That team should have done a ton better than they did. Yeah. Um, it's backed up here. Yeah. Busy here. Want to find somebody lollygagging and slide in. There we go. Yeah, but I think you got a. I think you got a really good roster. But I'm a fan. I'm a Titan fan too. Titans are my AFC team. Okay. Which yeah. puts me in uh, direct competition with the Colts. With the Colts, right? <laughs> so yeah, I felt bad for Matt Ryan when he went to the Colts because. You know, that was just a – yeah. Matt was a great quarterback. I think the Falcons kind of did him wrong, and I think he – I think the uh, Colts did him wrong, too. I mean, the Colts, when they pulled him out when we were 3-3 three and three and dropped him and trying to tank and then brought him back yeah. in, that was a – this service. Because we had a – I mean, we had a really we had a really good roster. I mean, Phillip Rivers got us to the playoffs. He should have we should have won a playoff game against Buffalo. We didn't. I thought Ryan would have been good for us, but it just didn't – it We got to talk about Jeff Saturday, too, because he went to my high school alma mater. Oh, he did? He's a lot younger than me. I'm 63. He's a lot younger, but yeah, he went to a, a high school. It's now a middle school. Okay. But when I was, you know, when he went to school there, he it was a, a high school, Shamrock, yeah, in Decatur, Georgia. A lot of famous people have come out of that high school. Yeah. Um, Jeff Saturday, of course. The Indigo Girls went to that school. They were two years younger than me. Grant Turner, mm -hmm. comedian. Um, yeah. Do you like the? Uh that Derrick Henry moved to Baltimore? Are you sad he's gone? Or? I think everybody is, but, you know, NFL's a business. He's yeah. a business. He's a commodity. He has to make decisions for his family. Yeah. Titans to make decisions for their future. Uh, he's a great running back. The lifespan of a running back in this league is not it's very just, long. Just Five, six, right seven now. years. Yeah. I don't know if he's got another year great MVP-type season in him or not. I, I wish him every success. Yeah. I'm not a fan of Baltimore, though. No, I don't. I do not like the Ravens. I, I'm never been a fan of Ravens. I, I like Harbaugh as a coach. I like him, but I just don't like the organization. I and mean, they do it yeah. well, but they just they choke. I'm not a big Lamar fan, you know. But that's – the division's there for the taking this year for all of them, the AFC South. Well, it's, you know, that's the great thing about football. 
Yeah. With the free agency and everything, it's all it, the parodies there. You know, yeah. it can change in a minute. Yeah. And uh, your fortunes can change in a minute in the NFL. Yeah. So yeah, it's uh, it's fun to watch. There's always hope, right? Yep. Agreed. And we'll we'll spend all this time during the draft speculating, and hoping and wishing for the best. And yeah. then you play, you but you gotta still kick just, the ball and go play the game, right? And no one, you know, you can never. I mean, I never thought Stroud would do as well as he did in Houston. I mean, he was he was outstanding this year, and I never thought he'd be that good. To me, the the kid that amazes me the most is Patrick Mahomes. Oh, he's phenomenal. I, I love him. I love his personality. I even like Andy Reid now. I, you know, I didn't like him when he was the Eagles coach. Yeah. I, you know, I had some bad blood with him because of the Falcons. But, but as the uh, Kansas, he, I, he is the, the, you know, it's a great coach. He's he's a walrus man. He's yeah. he's something. And uh, Patrick Mahomes, man, it's like nobody told him he couldn't do it, so he just went out and did it. He's he's unorthodox, but he just he, he's a winner. He's a winner. Yeah, yeah. he's he's got the. Uh, if anybody can get Brady a run right now, it's going to that's going to be a hard one to beat, man. Yeah. That record's going to be hard to beat. But if anybody can do it, Mahomes is going to be a kid to watch. I think he's like Brady, but he could do it somewhere else as well, though. Like I think he doesn't. I think I think the the talk about him kind of being structured with a read system and working that way, I just don't think that's accurate. I think he's. I think I think Mahomes is generational. Yeah, we saw what uh, Brady did at Tampa. Yeah. He had, a, he had a great roster and a great team, but he still did it. I mean, I think I think Mahomes could do that. Mahomes is so good. Well, it's exciting talking football with you, David. Yeah, yeah. And I wish you every success. You too. Uh, I have a confession to make. This is actually a reality show. Oh yeah. Called Riding with Willie. <laughs> uh, I've enjoyed the conversation. Uh, would I be allowed to use your yeah story in my show? Yeah, absolutely. That's fantastic. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. Nice nice yeah, I came out today to see if I could get some stories, and you're the first one I got. Right. Was a, that was a great. I I don't get a chance to talk football much. No. So that was uh, you got an English guy talking with you too. So.